Hello? It's me calling. Please pick up. I need to show you how nice I look in the new FaceTime portrait mode. Please don't send this to voicemail. It's that time of the year again when I show up in a phone screen to tell you that there's a new Apple iPhone operating system. There are a bunch of new features in iOS 15. You just need to know where to look. So here I am to help with 10 of my top iOS 15 tips. Let's do this. Number one, fix the Safari address bar. Something very bad has happened. Apple has moved the Safari bar to the bottom. Perhaps this is because phones are so big and it's annoying to reach to the top of the screen, or because they wanted to make it easier to do this and switch tabs. Either way, thank goodness you can set it back to normal. Go to Settings, Safari, and tap Single Tab. Look, there are pluses to it being at the bottom. I get that. But I'm old now, and I like having things where they belong, at the top. Number two, convert photos to text. See this little icon here? It's the new Scan Text button that shows up whenever you have a text field. Tap it, and it will launch the camera for a cool new trick. Okay, so look at this. Newspaper, phone. Tap on the button. I come a little bit closer. Let's say we want to do that section right there. And boom, all of the text shows up. You will see all the scanned text load in here, but to insert it into your document or text message, press here. You can now also do this in your camera app. If you take a photo of something with text, then tap this button in the bottom right, it will make that photo's text editable. Number three, get info about your photos. Here's a photo. Don't even try to argue it. This dog is cuter than yours. When you press this information button, Apple tells you it's a dog. Okay, maybe not that impressive. But then I tapped here and it suggested it was a cockapoo. That's only slightly off. He's a cavapoo. Either way, this feature works for animals, landmarks, plants, flowers, and more. Number four, get weather alerts. A few years ago, Apple bought Dark Sky, one of the best weather apps out there. And now Apple's updating its built-in weather app with a similar design and some more weather detail. One of the best parts is notifications about rain or snow starting in a specific area. To turn these on, tap here, then here, then notifications. You can then customize your locations. Number five, FaceTime with Android and Windows Pals. Open FaceTime and you'll see a new create link button. Tap it and you can then share the link with your friends and family on Android or Windows. When they click the link, it will open the web browser on their device and they'll be asked to give access to their camera and microphone. And then they'll be in the video call. Oh, half time break, forgot to tell you. Popcorn, energy drink, whatever you want. Number six, look and sound better in video calls. Press this button here in a FaceTime call and you can enable portrait mode on your video. No portrait mode? Portrait mode. But you can also use portrait mode in other video calling apps. Go to the control center and hold video effects and select portrait. You can make yourself sound better too by selecting the mic mode button and selecting voice isolation. Number seven, concentrate, AKA focus mode. Sometimes there are certain parts of the day where you don't want to hear from certain people and certain apps. Like right now, I don't really want to hear from anyone while I'm shooting a video. And now there's new modes that let you do that. Go to settings, focus, and select personal. You can then add people and apps you want notifications from when you're in personal mode. Then when you're ready to put your phone in personal mode, go to control center and select it from here. You can make all sorts of different modes. I made shooting mode, so I'm only interrupted by my spouse and boss. Number eight, use Siri offline. So here's what usually happens with Siri. You ask it a question and it sends that query and your audio to the cloud for interpretation and then sends it back to your device for a response. But now Siri can do a handful of things without ever needing to go to the cloud and without ever needing an internet connection. Okay, so check this out. I'm turning off Cellular and Wi-Fi, airplane mode is on. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, counting down. Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. There's already a 10 minutes timer, replace it. 
No, you should be able to set two timers because it's 2021. Anyway, the offline feature works only for certain commands. Hey Siri, launch WSJ. And the benefit isn't just that you can do this when you happen to be off grid, but it's also faster. Open messages. You do have to have an iPhone XS or later to get this feature. Number nine, hide your email. Sometimes you don't wanna share your private email address with websites or other people. And now Apple has a privacy feature, so you don't need to. Go to settings, tap your name at the top, go to iCloud, and then hide my email. You can create a new email address here that you can send to others. When people email that address, Apple will then forward that mail to your main email address. The catch, you only get this if you pay for iCloud Plus, which starts at 99 cents a month for 50 gigabytes of storage. With this, you also get a new privacy feature called Private Relay, which encrypts your web browsing and hides your IP address. Number 10, get a summary of notifications. Instead of waking up every morning to a long list of notifications you missed, Apple will put together this summary for you. Go to Settings, Notifications, and turn on Schedule Summary. Then pick which app notifications are important to you and when you want them delivered. I know, you clicked on this video and you thought you were only getting 10 tips, but here's a bonus round. Hold down on a photo in your photo library and you can drag it to another app, like Messages or Mail. In Safari, you can now group tabs by category or topic. And finally, go to Settings, Accessibility, Audio Visual, and turn on Background Sounds. Then you can go to Control Center and tap here and play some relaxing white noise, perhaps before stressing out about all these new changes coming in iOS 15. Oh, I hear some birds in there. I have to pee.